In this video, I'll go through dimensional analysis examples, which are used to convert measurements. And then I'll also talk about area and volume conversions, where you need to be a little bit careful about how you do the dimensional analysis. So we'll start by working through this fairly easy example, convert 26 miles to kilometers using the fact that one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. Now this is an example that you could do using other methods, but it will illustrate how dimensional analysis works. And dimensional analysis is a very powerful method that can work fairly well for more complicated examples. Okay, so what we do is we write down what we're trying to convert, 26 miles. And then we write down this fact, one mile is 1.6 kilometers. And if we write it down as a fraction in the right way, then it will allow us to do the conversion in a fairly straightforward manner. So what I mean is we need to multiply 26 miles by a fraction that's got 1.6 kilometers in it and one mile in it. Okay, and what we do is the following. If we write down this fraction, 1.6 kilometers over one mile. And the reason it's 1.6 kilometers in the numerator, one mile in the denominator, is because now we can cancel those units that we don't want. In this case, if we cancel these units here, the miles and the mile here, okay, then all we're left with in terms of units is kilometers in the numerator, and that's what we want. And the final step is just to do that multiplication, 26, times 1.6 and then we're dividing by one but that doesn't change the value uh, so the answer is 41.6 kilometers okay let's do another example that's a little more complicated convert 19 miles per gallon to kilometers per liter we're going to use one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers and one gallon is approximately 3.8 liters and we'll use the same method of dimensional analysis. This time it's gonna be a little more complicated because we're gonna to have to multiply by two fractions. Okay, so let's see how this works. So we've got 19 miles divided by one gallon, and then we multiply by a series of two fractions. Okay, the first one is 1.6 kilometers over one mile. And it's this way round because I want to cancel the mile here with the miles up here. And the next one is one gallon over 3.8 liters. And the reason it's this way round is I want to cancel this gallon with this gallon down here. Okay, and another thing to notice here is each time I'm just multiplying by one. Okay, because 1.6 kilometers is equal to one mile. And one gallon is equal to 3.8 liters. So I'm not changing what I'm looking at, I'm just changing the measurement unit because I'm just multiplying by one each time. Okay, so let's do the canceling. So miles up here cancels with the miles down here and the gallons here cancels with the gallon here. And then what am I left with? Well, I'm left with 19 times 1.6 kilometers times one. And 19 times 1.6 is 30.4. That's in the numerator. In the denominator, I've got one times one times 3.8. So I've just got 3.8 in the denominator. Final step is to divide 30.4 by 3.8. Um, that's a fairly straightforward long division problem. I won't go through the details, but if you did, you would find out that this comes to eight. 
and the units are kilometers in the numerator, liters in the denominator, in other words, kilometers per liter. So 19 miles per gallon is equivalent to eight kilometers per liter. Okay, final example on this page. How much does a 3000 carat diamond weigh in pounds? And if you're wondering, a 3000 carat diamond is pretty huge. The largest diamond ever found was a little bit over 3000 carats. Uh, also, you might be wondering, well, how much is a carat? Well, a carat is 200 milligrams. And then the other fact that we need to use here, because we're going to have to figure out what the weight is in pounds, is one kilogram is approximately 2.2 pounds. Okay, so let's multiply our 3,000 carats by a series of fractions. Okay, there's actually four fractions we're gonna use here. So this is our most complicated example yet. So, how does this work? Okay, first fraction is 200 milligrams is one carat. We'll do it 200 milligrams in the numerator, one carat in the denominator, because I want to cancel this carat with this carat here. Okay, next I need to cancel the milligrams. So if I do a thousand milligrams in the denominator is equal to one gram in the numerator. Next, I want to cancel the grams. So if I put a thousand grams in the denominator and one kilogram in the numerator, then I can do that. And then the final step, I need to cancel these kilograms. I'll put one kilogram in the denominator and pounds, 2.2 pounds in the numerator. Let's just check that we did all the canceling correctly. So carrots cancels with carrots, milligrams with milligrams, grams with grams, kilograms with kilograms. And I'm left with, let's see, 3,000 times 200 times one times one times 2.2. So if I calculate that out, that comes to 1,320,000 and the units is pounds. Okay, that's the only units that are left in the numerator. Carrots canceled, the milligrams canceled, the grams canceled, the kilograms canceled. We're left with pounds in the numerator. So look at the denominator, we've got one times a thousand times another thousand times one. And we don't have any units left. Everything canceled, the kilograms, the grams, the milligrams, the carats. So in the denominator, I've just got a thousand times a thousand, in other words, a million. Final step, do that division, which you should be able to do in your heads. 1,320,000 divided by 1 million is 1.32. So this carat diamond, 3,000 carat diamond, would weigh 1.32 pounds, a pretty huge diamond. Okay, that's the end of this part of the video. In the next part, we'll go on and talk about how dimensional analysis works when we're converting area measurements and volume measurements.